Hey folks, Ebbs here with House of Guns, and I've got a little pistol that I'm reviewing for you here today. I want to let you see that I've been trying to get my hands on for a few years now. The design is actually uh, two or three years old, I think. I couldn't tell you an exact date, uh, but it is the kel PMR-30. It is a 22 Magnum rimfire, 30 round capacity, uh, polymer automatic pistol. The footprint itself, kind of big. It's about the same actually as my Glock 22. The grip itself is, is a little thicker even. A couple high points of the gun, it's very lightweight. Uh, it's skinny, it's super skinny. So as you can see, I've got a holster right here on my side. Kydex holster I had custom made for this gun itself. Uh, and it's easy to conceal. This, this jacket I have on is not very baggy and so I'm wearing it on the outside so you can see it and I can move freely. I've got a mag holder over here also that matches. Uh, so it's a pretty neat little setup, but because it's so skinny, it's actually not too hard to conceal carry. Uh, and I did so for a week inside the waistband with another holster similar to this, but with the, uh, the belt clips instead of outside the waistband. And it worked. It's got a full length Picatinny rail on the bottom, fiber optic sights front and back, orange in the back, yellow in the front. They really stand out and jump nice. Trigger is very short, very smooth. Let's get the safety off. Has ambidextrous safeties on the left and right side. Um, I don't get a, uh, a real positive click. Let me show you here. Down, yes, up. No, and so something that it does to me, because it doesn't click down real well, when I take a thumbs forward grip, this can tend to creep up a little bit, and if it gets up too much, you know, a little more than an eighth of an inch, it won't fire, and it gives you the impression that the gun has jammed. That's not the case, and the way that I got around that, which you'll see as I'm shooting it, is I would throw the, uh, the support hand up, thumb forward over here, and, and my strong hand, will just simply uh, be lying along the outer ridge of my support hand and that completely gets it out of play. Um, I haven't had that issue since then. I have approximately, no more, no less, approximately 600 rounds through this pistol uh, in the couple months that I've had it. There was a little note inside the package from kel that said, uh, please feed this gun American ammo. Well, I got uh, several boxes of Fiocchi, um, Hornady VMAX, and uh, CCI mini mag that was sent to me by luckygunner.com for this review and I'm pleased to say that the Fiocchi has performed well. The tungsten metal jacket which is basically a round nose full metal jacket style and their jacket at hollow point both at a 40 grain have been good in terms of reliability and uh, function it seems to like the Hornady VMAX the best. Uh, it has the most power of any of the rounds that we tested, but that VMAX bullet seems to just uh, feed perfectly through this, and it loves it. It's extremely accurate at 10 yards with the VMAX golf ball size groups. I'm, the wind's blowing and I'm out here shivering right now, and so even with being cold in the wind and everything, you know, at 30 feet, 10 yards, uh, and then out to 20 yards, the VMAX was without a doubt the most accurate round that we put through it. The Fiocchi was by far are the cheapest, the least expensive of the three brands that we tested in this gun. Uh, and it was pretty good. There were only a few dead rounds, and by dead I mean pull the trigger, firing pin drops, click, nothing happens, eject it, you know, uh, tap rack bang sort of deal, let it go again, and uh, it'd be right back up and running perfectly. Recoil is, is almost non-existent, so control on the pistol, uh, when you bring it out and uh, you snap that trigger over it's just there's just a little bit of jump to it and if you buckle down and focus you know with the push and the pull method it's it's not going anywhere so so follow-up shots are easy and natural and another thing that's a little bit of cool factor not a whole lot of practicality in terms of low light shooting and uh, quick follow-up shots uh, is the muzzle flash it will consistently every time regardless of ammo oh, put out a 12 inch awesome. diameter muzzle blast that you can visibly see looking over the top of the gun as you as you shoot bam uh, it's right here all right in front of you and you can see it so it's a big muzzle flash uh, the magazines as I said are 30 rounders there are five ports in the side of the magazine to show you 
how full it is and I stopped trying to take it to 30. I could get it to 28, 29 and it's it's a small round and uh, the sides, the walls of a 22 WMR can get dinged and dented and, and uh, so I didn't want to put too much stress on them. So I just got to where I would take them to 20 rounds. That's a lot of shots from one magazine from a pistol. So I would load them to 20 rounds, have fun with them from there. The magazine release also takes a little bit of getting used to. It's right there on the butt of the grip rather than being up here where you would typically have it. It's a deep grip. So if you got smaller hands, it would be hard to reach. Now I found that it became pretty natural to rake your thumb across, draw it out. And I'm not letting the, I'm out in the, the snow and the muck and the, the sand out here. So I, I would draw the thumb across, you know, put this one in my back pocket and then get the other magazine out of the carrier on my belt here and then uh, let her fly. This is the kel PMR30 from kel CNC in Florida. It's a neat innovative little piece. I know they're hard to find and when you can find them people are charging too much for them but it's a neat little pistol. Has been fun and uh, in terms of reliability in 600 rounds I've had a few failures. This uh, I have carried this for a week in an inside the waistband holster, uh, but you know, 30 rounds of anything is nothing to, to sneeze at. But I want something bigger. I don't want to trust my life to a, a 22 mag. And uh, that said, this would be a neat backpacking pistol, a cool trail pistol. So anyway, this is Ebbs with House of Guns showing you the 30 round capacity with a Picatinny rail fluorescent sights, ambidextrous safety, weird mag release, kel PMR30. Happy shooting, everybody. No recoil. How many rounds is that? <laughs> I don't know. That's awesome.